Hello, my name is Kat, and today I would like to talk about reviewer trust. I get a lot of book recommendations from like really popular series that I haven't gotten to yet to lesser known books that I haven't even heard about. People are always suggesting things for me to read, so I have lots and lots of recommendations, which is not a complaint. I love getting book recommendations, but I can only read so many books, so I still have to decide which recommendations to listen to. And we all know that reading taste is very subjective. Just because you love a book a lot doesn't mean I will necessarily like it. So what I'm wondering today is this. How much trust do you put into book reviewers and their opinions? How do you decide who to listen to and what to read? For me personally, there is a small handful of people whose recommendations I really take to heart. Mostly because I found our reading tastes to be very similar. If they really, really love a book, then there's a good chance that I'm going to love that book too. And if they find issue with a book, then there's also a good chance I will agree with them on that issue. I trust their opinions and book recommendations because over time it's been proven that we have very similar tastes. But what happens when book recommendations go wrong? What happens when someone whose opinion you trusted turns out to really really love a book that you absolutely hate? Or what happens when a reviewer is really just picking apart and disliking your favorite book? I will admit there are some book reviewers who I watch but whose opinions don't really carry that much weight with me. And it isn't for any mean reason or anything, I just feel like we have very different reading tastes. And while I respect their opinions and still enjoy watching their videos, I don't necessarily let their opinions influence what I buy and read. I always get really nervous when it comes to recommending books because I have really wide tastes and I consider myself a pretty easy reader to please. Once again, I'm pretty picky about what I read, so if I do read a book it's because I've done my research beforehand and I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it and most of the time I do enjoy it. When I'm reading a book, I try really hard to kind of get the story that the author is trying to tell and appreciate it for what it is. Because I enjoy most of the books I read, in my reviews I try to focus more on what elements a story contains rather than just if I liked it or didn't like it. Let's use my favorite example, William Herondale. I mean, the Infernal Devices trilogy. I really loved this trilogy, and one element of the story that I really liked was the angsty love triangle. I loved it. But some people don't like angsty love triangles and melodrama, and they might not like the series for that reason. And that's totally okay! This book has a love triangle! I love it! You might not! Just because I happened to love this one series that maybe you don't, it doesn't mean that our tastes are so different they will never align. So yeah, that's pretty pretty much what I've been thinking about lately. How do you find reviewers to trust? And how many conflicting opinions does it take for your trust in that reviewer to fade? How much does it matter if they love a book that you really hate, or if they hate a book that you really love? Anyways, that is everything I had for this video today, so thank you very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will have another one up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye!